All right, guys, it's Rick Utzer here again with Ergen Web, Ergen Web TV, and I've got Travis Whitney here. How are you doing, Travis? I'm doing super. And he and his team have created the Raptor Air Gun. This thing's awesome, and today we're actually going to do some shooting, and he's going to walk me through all the variables, but basically how to get the most out of it. Stay with us. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, Travis, so I have got targets from 50 yards out to about 120 yards. Um, steel silhouettes is what we're shooting, and we've got some clay pigeons way off on the bank. And we're running 30 caliber. You've got this set to what pressure? Uh, right now, the PSI, uh, the output PSI is about 1800 PSI, which puts us right about 85 foot pounds. Okay, 30 caliber, 85 foot pounds. Now, a couple things before we get started. One, I've already done some shooting with the phone scope through your optic. This is your scope, right? That's correct. This is going to be available when? Uh, probably about two weeks. Okay. Pretty awesome scope. Um, I'm getting more used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think once you get the gun set up, that's one of the cool things about it because you actually set the stock up for me, got it all configured. Uh, and I shot this earlier with my phone scope and got some great footage through this. But the phone scope app takes a little time to process. So right. I don't want to wait in 10 minutes in between each shooting session. We want to kind of get this video done. So I've switched off to my Sony rig, and this actually works pretty good too yeah. for us being able to actually uh, get some cool scope footage that you guys can kind of see the impact. And also, I'm hoping what's going to translate is how little sort of felt recoil, how little movement the gun has right. based on your valve. That's correct. Okay, based on your whole setup. Really. Yeah, the tension barrel setup and uh, the valve and basic, Just everything. basically everything as a package. Okay, now the one thing we had, I had to throw you under the bus a little bit. Do it. Okay, is uh, you were in a kind of a hurry. I was. And uh, you grabbed all the parts. And, Almost all the parts. And everything came in and this was actually in pieces. You assembled it here. I did. And there was one key component you forgot. <laughs> there is. and. Uh, Actually, they fit into these slots right here, and it's the magazines. <laughs> yeah. So, oops about that. But the magazine is obviously it's the magazine-fed gun. Right. And yeah. how many it's shots? Not a, do you it's get? not an option. It, it comes with the gun. <laughs> how many yeah. shots do you get per? Uh, nine with the 30 cal, 11 with the 25 cal, and 15 with the 22. All right. Great. So you, it does come with magazines. It sure does. All right. <laughs> Normally. Uh, but we just don't have one today. So no, we we're going to hand feed these pellets, which is fine. No big deal. No big deal. Okay. So we're all topped off, and we've got our safety here. And... Yeah, it only engages if it's cocked. Okay, so we'll cock it. Cock it. Now you can flip the safety uh -huh. up. Excellent. No. So I'm going to go ahead and put one in here. Side lever action. Okay. And it's actually super easy. Yeah, it's really easy. All right. So I'm going to take it off safe. We're going to go for our 50 yard shot. Let me get this set up here. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Actually, I got to remember to take my glasses off. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me get side focus, right? Side parallax. Yep. Side parallax. Just like that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start this recording. All right, so I'm going to take my first shot here at 50 yards. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty violent. So first of all, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, that is like super quiet, and the reaction you get on the target is pretty significant. So yeah, yeah, that's I'm going to do that one. I'll do that one more time here. Okay. Starting to get us a tailwind going too, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, a little bit. Help us our... Helps our velocity numbers. <laughs> All right. Okay. Safety. There it is. And. Just like that. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to run these targets all the way out here. Um, okay. So that's 50. And our next one is about 60. And then it goes like to 80. And then it's 100 and something. And then. The trick is going to be, if I can judge correctly at that 120 range, 
I have like a four inch gong. Um, okay, yeah. I believe you. So that, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be the fun one. So let's go ahead and take the 60, 60 shot here. Yeah, and it has a two stage trigger. It's extremely light, by the way, guys, if you guys are into like triggers that have like hardly any pull weight, you'll love it. Yeah, pretty much. I, I hope that the lack of movement is translating effectively yeah. through this because- it And is, the ricochet off of the target is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty violent. I think, try that again, here we go. So I'm seeing a single shot tray maybe. Yeah, yeah, we could do that easy too. I mean, the magazine makes it a lot easier, obviously, but yeah, we could, we'll do a single shot, shot tray for everyone too. I actually get a lot of people asking me about that. Okay, so I am at, what looks, I'm guessing, and I don't know, but I'm guessing maybe two mils at the piggy. Piggy's on the edge of how far I can see. 80. 80. Piggy's dead. Piggy's gone. Okay. Back it here. Safety. Yeah, so the trigger is adjustable. It has four adjustments. Um, pull length. First stage pull weight. Second stage pull weight. Sear engagement. Okay, now this gets a little tricky for me because the screen in here is teeny tiny. Yeah. So I am going to try and say that's about three right there. I'm thinking Are you going out, three and a half out to, to the ram? It's a ram's 106. Is that where you're going? Yeah, so three and a half maybe. Blind guess for me. Well, I guess you're right. Three and a half it is. Three and a half it is. <laughs> All right, now Dead the fun ram. one is going to be that tiny little target. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see anything either. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe you. It's out there, you say. <laughs> There's a sawhorse out there, and hanging under the sawhorse is a little four-inch disc. All right, here we are. There, there you go. Five and a half it is. So that is pretty awesome. I'm going to try it one more time. There it is, all, all day now. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm dead nuts six. This thing is a dream, man. We have just shot it with 85 foot pounds. Sure. Why don't we turn it up? Okay. And how high, what, what's realistic to go to at this point? Well, if we're sh we have to keep the pellet subsonic. Okay. So we're, I would say let's keep it under 1,000 feet per okay. second. Uh, uh, we're at about 4,500 feet. Okay. So that's yep. going to bring us down to about 1,060 to 1,080 before okay. we go sonic, transonic. Okay. All right. So let's keep it under the sound barrier to keep the pellet stable. So I'll crank it up to, I don't know, 2,400 PSI, and that'll, keep, that'll just be right on the ragged yeah, on the edge. edge. Okay. Now here's the thing that mm -hmm. I want to just tell you guys out there, and I'm sure you deal with it all the time. If you're going to tune your gun, what's the one piece of equipment you have to have? Chronograph. Absolutely. Guys, if you're going to touch anything on your gun, Make sure you have a chronograph yeah. because you, if you don't have that, you have no way to measure. Wild it. guess. Yeah, and because even as precise as this is, that like quarter of a turn matters, and a quarter of a turn this gun may be slightly different than a quarter of a turn another gun. That's right. It's just the nature of the beast. Buy a chronograph. Use know your what you're at. Yeah, That's know right. what you're doing. Because without that, you're just flying blind. Um, so and, and it's impossible that. to tell, you know, because this the report on this gun isn't very loud. No, Even when you quiet. crank crank it up, it's still not a whole lot louder. So you don't know if you're going 880 like we're doing right now, 885, 900, mm -hmm. or 1,050. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and turn this up. Okay. I'm going to shoot just a 50-yard target and see the difference of impact. I think having those sort of a side okay. by side might be kind of cool. So. Sure, I'll take cover back there. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'll let kidding. you turn it up. I'm just kidding. Let's All right. see if we can do this. I am going to, while you do that, hold on. Okay. Uh, Micah, assistant, hand me my phone, please. And what, will it actually, on the gauge, kind of show you what's happening when you turn the, with actually just the gauge will move when you turn the Yeah, down? absolutely. Right here we have the well, plenum just, gauge for the output. We're going to video that for this section. Okay, so it normally doesn't come with this big giant gauge on here. I put this on here just for this video so we can watch the reg pressure and see it precisely where it is. Right now, as we were talking earlier, and Rick was doing all this long distance shooting, we had it at 1800 PSI. That's where it's currently at. We have a spanner wrench here. And basically what we do is we just turn this 
fly around, and if we watch, we'll slowly get there, and we got to give it time to refresh. She's climbing. Can you see where we're at, Rick? Oh, there I, we are. I cannot. Let's give her, give her a second. I think it's about 1900 right now. There's 2000. There's 2100. And while you're doing this too, let me point this out. You should always know what your fill pressure is because if you're adjusting this <laughs> and your fill pressure is lower than your reg pressure, you're doing nothing. Yeah. Um, so let's, uh, we're about 2100, you know, and I think I'm going to stop right at about there. Let's start, let's stop about 2150. Okay. Yeah, so let's just see what that does and how much it flattens out our, our trajectory. All right. Now, all we've adjusted at this point is just the reg pressure. We haven't adjusted the hammer buffer or the hammer spring. Right. But where we're at right now, we basically had those at a point where we can adjust it a, a long range of, uh, of power level. Okay. Uh, it's not, not the most efficient way to do it, but it allows us to do it with only the reg right now. Okay. So we don't have to play around with it a bunch for doing our videoing and stuff. Wow. Oh. That was, yeah, that was noticeable. I'm going to hit that again <laughs> because... <laughs> did you have that on video? I did, yeah. Yeah, it, it was substantial. That is a... How thick is that target? That's, I think, 3.8 AR500. So that, I it's shoot those with my... It's pretty darn heavy. I shoot those with my AR. It twisted it completely sideways. Oh, that trigger got me. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you still, still you still nailed it straight on. <laughs> You guys, you're looking for the Raptor, a couple places you can get it, right? Yeah, you can get Airgun it Pro Shop. Airgun Pro Shop is one. I was going to tout your site first, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, but you have jsairrifles.com, jeffersonstateairrifles.com. And uh, they are the creator of this. And if you guys are looking for it, that's where you got to go to get it. Guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys.